Hello there. Today we are going to give you an overview of the Call Control web portal. Uh, it's available at portal.callcontrol.com and it is really a full featured um, web management interface that you can use to interact with uh, really any device that has call control. Uh, today we're going to be focusing on Call Control Home, uh, but you can also come in here to manage and look at the call activity on your mobile, mobile devices as well. Um, so to start off, you'll see that we, we have a dashboard that's the, that's the default landing page when you open up the web portal after you log in. Um, you'll notice here that we have a number of devices here at the top, um, a couple of test devices here, and then we're going to be focused on this call control home device. Um, and so you'll see as I scroll down that uh, we've got some call activity, so the total number of calls that have been processed, the number of those that have been blocked, some stats about why they were blocked, um, a snapshot of your sort of recently blocked calls, and then some other widgets down here that give you some other um, statistics about the calls that have been blocked. You can turn call control on the device on or off, which will enable or disable all call blocking. And you can enable or disable the community IQ spam blocking uh, just by clicking here. Now, the next thing I want to show you guys is the call history. Um, so you'll see here uh, we have a we have a history of all of the calls that have been received on your landline device with call control home connected to it. You'll see here that we have um, a number of uh, calls that have been allowed through, and you can see that because they have a green phone icon. And you'll see that there are a number of calls that have been blocked, and you can see that uh, because they have a red phone icon. Now, when a call has been blocked, uh, we will uh, oftentimes label why it was blocked, this time because it was spam, and it will give you the name of the caller that came through on the caller ID. In this case, it was flagged by, by the carrier as scam likely. Um, you'll also notice a number of different options here. So you can perform lookups on any calls to see the name of the caller if we have it in our system. Um, you can click here uh, to block the caller. By You can come in here and add a caller name if you'd like. Click block. That will add it to the, uh, to the block list. You can also come in here and say, hey, I want to allow that call. That was blocked inadvertently or I'd like to be able to receive it. So you can just quickly click allow and that call will always be allowed through. Um, I also wanted to show off that there's uh, a couple of filters here. So you can come in and just filter and say, I would want to just see allowed calls or I want to just see blocked calls, which is pretty handy. And then there's also a search feature. So you can come in here and search for phone numbers. You notice how fast uh, it performs a search and we'll pull up the numbers. So again, this is a very full featured uh, call history that allows you to uh, manage remotely um, all of the calls that have come into your call control home device. Uh, just quick. Uh, quickly clicking through here. Um, this is your personal block list. Um, again, this is actually synced to the device, to your call control home device. So if you wanted to come in here and add another telephone number to be blocked, you could just type in the number, click block. It will come in here to confirm it. You can give it a caller name, uh, name, you know, whatever, click block. Um, and then that, uh, that has uh, been added to our block list. Um, you can also go in and, and edit, you can delete, uh, so we can just delete that one. Um, there's a number of advanced settings here that you can, that you can, uh, you can process here on the, through the web portal. Um, so you can turn the community block list protection or community IQ protection on and off. You can change the call, uh, handling mode from disconnect to ignore or send to voicemail. Um, there's a number of features here that you can, uh, that you can manage through the advanced settings. And again, any feature that you update, any setting that you update here through the web portal uh, gets synced within a minute or two directly to your call control home device automatically um, so that it's always kept up to date. Now, I showed you earlier how we added a number to the allow list uh, from the recent calls. This is where you can come in here and see all the numbers that are on your allow list. Um, and again, you can add you know, numbers manually to the allow list. Um, you can edit or delete numbers. So this one was a spam call. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Um, so the allow list is something that you'll want to use, uh, you know, if you have uh, phone numbers that you want to make sure uh, that can ring through. So maybe any important contacts, uh, you know, doctor's office, that kind of thing. Uh, it's unlikely that call control will block those numbers because they're not spam numbers. But uh, if you wanted to put them in here just to be sure, you certainly could do that. We also have a do not disturb mode. Um, Call Control Home currently doesn't uh, support Do Not Disturb, but we, it's a setting that we're going to be rolling out here shortly, uh, hopefully by uh, the end of 2021. Uh, but Do Not Disturb, for those of you that have mobile, mobile devices connected, uh, the iOS and Android app both support uh, Do Not Disturb mode. 
And last but not least, uh, your account. So you can come in here and manage your different phones or devices. Um, you can update your name, uh, your email address, uh, and uh, update your password uh, right here from my account. So again, this was a brief overview of the call control web portal. Thank you for tuning in.